A circular plane of 60 mm diameter is resting on one of its point A on horizontal plane with its surface inclined at 30 degree to HP. So now surface is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So first we will draw it in HP. So top view will give you true shape. So we will start with top view. So first we need to draw a circle in top view. Radius is 30 mm. Since diameter is 60, so we will take radius 30 mm and we will draw circle. After drawing circle, we will divide into 8 parts. See, we can divide into 8 or 12 parts, but right now for convenience, I am dividing into 8 parts. In exam, you can divide into 12 parts. In exam, you should divide into 12 parts because you get more points. Now see, I have divided circle into 8 points because I don't have any edges, any points. Like in pentagon, I have 5 points, in hexagon, I have 6 points. In circle, I don't have any points. So that's why I have divided into 8 parts to get all these imaginary points. After this, they have given that surface is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So I will draw 30 degree line. I will take A dash to E dash and cut it on this. Then take all these points and cut on this. After this, project A dash from here and A from here. B dash and X dash from here. See this. A dash from here, A from here. So we get point A. B dash from here and B from here, we get point B. H dash from here, H from here, we get H. C dash, G dash from here. G and C from here, so we get C and G. And you project D dash F dash and F and D from here. Same thing, E dash from here and E from here. Then join all these points with free hand. This is how the circular plate will look when it is inclined at 30 degree to horizontal. This is 30 degree and diameter is 60. So this is the given, this is the required top view and front view.